And howdy folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. This afternoon, check out, uh, check out uh, Survival Seeds collab with the Vineyard Chicks. They're going to talk about weed drying, which is very good. Go a garden, save America, and don't eat people. And that should be coming up, let's see, what time is it? Uh, almost 3 o'clock, that's on Pacific Time, another hour will be... Uh, Central Time or Mountain Time, I forget. Okay. Just say no to Captain Crazy and crew. Join up Die Bullfrog 79. Hit the like button. Leave a nice comment. Send $2.17 See PayPal below. This goes to our local food banks. Because Uncle Alan stops by, drops off food anonymously. Check with the people. They're very happy when I bring, you know, a truckload of diapers or if I bring a truckload of canned foods because I know each area. That's Uncle Al. We need more people like Uncle Al. Well, Uncle Al don't have that much time left. And a lot of you are kind of... Okay. All right. Stop the madness. Keep calm. Don't panic. Carry on. A lot of you are panicking over... And you're not paying attention what's going on. All right. Save America from 2040. The horrors. You only got 16 years left. I got to tell this to people over and over. You think right now is bad? Wait until the 2040. That's why I'm making plans leaving the U.S. in 2029. I'm going to say goodbye, you dumbasses. Okay, best plant for your home and garden. Depending on your location, these are the best ones. Question one, what plants are the most nutritious, Uncle Al? My answer, go away. First is avocado. These plants cannot survive freezing. I know I have a couple of them and they grow, but I have to keep them fairly warm. If you can... The avocado tree is better for the southern belt and the uh, sun belt, all right? But they cannot take freezing, number one. Okay, avocado provides with calories and vitamin C's, and it's one of the best things to grow. But it takes a male and a female. Number two, cara, also a male and female plant. That's where you get your fake chocolate from. Now, I used to have a couple of half dozen trees. Then I had to leave that city. They were there since the 1930s, and I've been taking care of them. And people were asking, why are you collecting the pods from that female tree? And I showed them. You take out the seeds to save it, to mail it off to people. You take the pot and you grind it into carob flour. You can make bread and other things like that. My favorite is mixing carob flour with uh, lentil, uh, with uh, pulsated lentils to make carob lentil bread or cake. I do a cake because a lot of people like that one. And they said, it's so delicious, Uncle Al. Where's the chocolate in it? There's no chocolate. Okay, citrus. I plant a lot of different forms of citrus around here. Kumquats, oranges, mandarins, lemons, limes, because I'm in that belt area. Rose hips. Now, rose hips are good, but you got to treat them organically. Go ask how he at food forest permaculture. Aramis and its relatives. All right, these are the plants that are most nutritious. Uh, Aramis and its relatives, lambs, quarter, and quinona. They're uh, both in New World and Old World. These are very important. Beans, okay? Beets. Uh, carrots. Yeah, let's see. Carrots. Cabbages. Either sauerkraut or kimchi. Chard. Uh, Chards are relative to beets. They're developed for the top 
and stems easy to grow very nutritious chart these will be all listed down below collard greens both annuals and pre pre-annual tree collards collards are a good source of vitamins and stuff also kale kale is excellent potatoes now potatoes in certain areas won't grow because you got crappy soil all right Test your soil. Like how he says, it takes five years to make a really good food bank. That's the soil conditions. All right. Prickly pear cactus. A lot of people are looking at me like, prickly pear, Uncle Al? And they think I'm nuts. Prickly pear produces a fruit. Also, you could eat the pads. All right. Let's see. And tomatoes. Tomatoes came from the New World. If anybody tells you it's Italian, you smack them in the head. You know, it's one of these. Oh, God. What was my other stupid um, question people keep asking me? Which plants are most productive with least amount to work? And you wonder why I chase people with this. Okay, number one is potatoes. Potatoes is easy. It's not hard. Once you know your system of planting, potatoes are easy. Number two is yams. God, I'm driving nuts. All right. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. I look at people and I grow tomatoes in containers and they're like, Wow, your plants are producing more than mine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Jeru God, that hurts my head. Jerusalem artichokes. Okay, this is native to the eastern United States. It's hardy, you grow it. It's fairly easy and you just harvest it. New Zealand spinach. I keep telling people, you grow this inside the house in the winter. It makes a great hanging pot plant. Figs. Now, figs has to be in the sun belt. Okay? It can't take frost. It has a long tap root. And you got to know how to take care of it. Apricots. Apricots, I have one tree already. Uh, tomatoes. Those are very easy. Any kind of sweet or hot pepper. Uh, raspberries and blackberries, strawberries, you have to be an idiot to kill those. Uh, tree collars, persimmons, okay, those are the easiest to grow. Okay, I'm getting tired, so I'm going to stop it there. I have two more questions, and I'm kind of looking at people. I'm kind of tired, I'm old, I have a... Uh, you know, Big black spot. What the hell? Aneurysm back in my head. Okay, folks. Grow a garden. Don't eat people. Remember, stockpile, rotate, process. You grow all these vegetables, you don't know how, what the hell to do with them. And get a bike. I've been on a couple of lives saying, well, we can make our own fuel, Uncle Al. And I told him, you better get insurance and a good funeral plan. All right, folks. I'll catch you later. God bless and good luck. It's 2024 reality check time. Bye now.